flags up and they're off. They race over three miles in the Potemps Network Handicap Hurdle Final. And towards the outside, Prairie Dancer has been ridden along by JJ Slevin to try and get the lead. Bold Endeavour out very wide is right up there, and so too is Quintara, together with Farouk Dalen as they fly over the first of the 12 flights of hurdles. The mayor Popova was the back marker over that. Alpesh Amin is also towards the rear of the field with Anna Benina as they go already on towards flight number two. Prairie Dancer will lead. Bold Endeavour over in second and wasn't fluent, but was over safely. Farouk Dalen took it in third position. Quintara is in fourth, then flight deck towards the outside, Hector Javalex is next followed by Gowl Road, and then towards the inside came Cuthbert Dibble as they got over flight number three, Popova is still the back marker with Anna Benina for company, and Al Peshamin also towards the rear of the field, Mon Miral, another one who's out the back together with Mill Green they take the first turn on now towards flight number four, Prairie Dancer was keen to get the lead, he's got it now by a length and a half, to Quintara racing in second, Farouk Delen on the inside in a share of third with flight deck towards his outside. Cuthbert Dibble, the gal rolled, then Bold Endeavour and Hector Javalex as they cross over flight number four. Then to the inside, Ikare Allen, who's racing at the moment alongside Emmy Tom. Also in that group, racers Cletus Poulor. And then the Grey Highland as they go into the downhill sweep. Next in the field, towards the inside, is Gabby's Cross, racing just in advance of Chantry House. Lamilos on that one's outside. Mon Miral is next in the field. Then towards the inside is Noble Berth who's been shuffled back in front of Anna Benina then Alpesh Amin and Popova is last of the 22 they're making the run down the hill and on now towards flight number 5 and it is Quintara and Charlie Deutsch who've now come through to just about head them off with on the inside Prairie Dancer racing in second. Farouk Delen is racing in a share of third with flight deck on that one's outside. Bold Endeavour wider still with Hector Javalex and on the inside Cuthbert Dibble as they got over flight number 5 again all safely over and now a long run before the encounter the flight taken just in front of the stands. So they're racing towards the halfway point in the Potemps and at the moment on the inside Prairie Dancer has a share of the lead with Quintara out wide. Those are the first two flight decks racing in third. Farouk Delen is in fourth position. On the inside Cuthbert Dibble is racing in fifth. He's the horse with the white blaze. He's racing in advance of Gal Road and Highland just gone past that one with Hector Javlex out wide. Bold Endeavour has been shuffled back. Next in the field is Cletus Pallor. Then towards the inside Ikari Allen racing alongside Chantry House in the same J.P. McManus ownership. Emmy Tom towards the outside. Next in the field is Gabby's Cross as they go with the flight between the circuits will be the last in the attempts and now they set out into the country and they're at halfway. With Quintara on the outside of on the inner Prairie Dancer those are the first two. Flight deck on the outside of Farouk Delen and then on the inside is Cuthbert Dibble. The Grey Highland is racing in six. Hector Javlix is in seventh out wide. Gal House on the inside is racing in eighth position followed then by Cletus Pallor who is in ninth. Bold Endeavour to the outside is in 10th. Chantry House is now racing into 11th with on the inside in about 12th place is Ikari Allen as they make the run now slightly downhill and on now towards flight number seven. Still very tightly grouped as they go to it and it's Quintara and Charlie Deutsch who still have the lead. Prairie Dancer on the inside and flight deck out wide as they got over that. Alpesh Amin just the back marker, his stable mate Noble Berth just ahead of him together with Popova at the back of the field. Going now over flight number eight, Quintara just landed in front, jumped that one quite big and still very tightly grouped. So it is now flight deck on the outside of Quintara. Towards the outside is Bold Endeavour. Those are the first three. Prairie Dancer racing in fourth. Farouk Dalen was over in fifth. Then Hector Javlix. He's then being followed by Emmy Tom out wide, getting a little bit closer. He's now racing alongside Cletus Pallor. Right on the inside, Cuthbert Dibble hasn't given up the inside to anyone. Highland is next to the field. Then Gowell House followed by Lamilos. And then uh, Gowell Road and then Lamilos followed then by Gabby's Cross. And then just after that leading group is Gwake cool as they make the run now on towards the third from home taken right at the far end of the track and it will be flight deck who took off in front there over that one safely great cool has very quickly lost his place he's now dropped to the tail of the field he's last but one with only Alpesh Amin behind him so now a long run inside the final six furlongs, but just the two more flights of hurdles to take in the Potemps. Flight deck on the inside of Quintara. They've always been in the vanguard. Bold Endeavour on the outside in third. Cuthbert Dibble is racing in fourth position. Hector Javlex made the turn at the top of the hill, racing in fifth. Farouk Dalen is now being ridden along. On the inside.
inside is Highland, who's trying to get closer. Then Cletus Pallor. After Cletus Pallor is Emmy Tom towards the outside. Le Milos. Then on the inside is Gal Rowe. Towards the outside, the yellow of Mon Miral. Anna Benina is beginning to check off one or two rivals. Has just gone by Chantry House. As they go over the second for a moment, on the inside, Quintaro was the leader. It was Ikari Allen who made a very bad mistake. So now they've got three furlongs to go, but just one more fight of hurdles to take. And it is now Hector Javalex on the outside of Quintara. Quintara now leads by length. Hector Javalex is in second. Bold endeavour to the outside in third. Cuthbert Dibble made the turn in fourth. Highland is towards the inside. Gal Road is staying on. So too. Chantry House is rallying towards the near side. Cletus Pallor is picking up. Mon Miral. Emmy Tom also has a chance. But it is Quintara as they come inside the final fellow and a half and down towards the final fight of hurdles. Mon Miral on the near side into second. Then Bold endeavour. Then Cuthbert Dibble. Over the final flight. Quintara on the far side. Just had the lead. Quintara the far side, Mon Miral is on the near side, Cuthbert Dibble is back in third, in fourth is Bold Endeavour, another hundred yards to go, Mon Miral beginning to get up on the near side for Harry Coughlin, and it is Mon Miral who has won the pit attempt, in second came Quintara, then Cuthbert Dibble and Bold on the near side came Bold Endeavour, they were followed home by Gal Road and next to the field was Emmy Tom. Absolutely. Uh, Mon Miral wins for Paul Nichols, and it was a victory you were wanting at the festival this week, with Ginny Gessley having gone so close yeah. and others having not run so well. Yeah, I mean, a couple of run ordinary the last couple of days, um, but it's tough here, and basically they weren't good enough on the day. I thought Ginny's Destiny would win today. He ran a blinder, and this horse is loads of ability. We've been trying to make a chaser out of a hurdler. He didn't like it, and I just thought, I'll qualify him at Chepstow two weeks ago. And he actually needed the run that day because he hasn't had a race for, he hasn't finished the race for a long time. And I thought he'd run okay today. I didn't necessarily expect him to win. I said to Harry, give him plenty of daylight. He doesn't like to, he doesn't like to be boxed in. And he's a bit timid and soft, and he gave him a beautiful ride. He, he, he really did. Beautiful and, ride. And this horse, of course, in his four-year-old yeah. days, was a Grade yeah. One winner. Was yeah. talked in terms of the champion yeah. hurdle. I was, yeah, and um, just had loads of problems. And then he didn't want to jump fences, and yeah, he would jump a fence, but he hasn't got enough scope. He's not very big, and. Um, today worked out really really well and the headgear changed tell me about that uh, well just freddie rode him the other day and said i thought i might have won two out and he blew up and he said try and win some blinkers so i just listened to what he said he, and not, he, he's not had them on before in a race and um whether it made a difference or not i don't know but he's obviously just come back to himself a little bit and um, tell me about Fe stay away Faye, because i didn't realize until this um, morning that he'd scoped dirty uh, yeah but do you know what they say scope dirty he was a grade two if they were grade three or four you'd work i guarantee you could Scope 90% of us who went around in that mud, they scoped dirty. If you did it in two days, I'm probably fine. But the biggest thing, he pulled his near for shoe off when he made that mistake at the top of the hill. His feet are a bit of a problem, and he, he was a bit sore after, so it could have been. But I actually don't think on the day he liked the ground, and he, he, he didn't jump or go well enough, you know, and there'll be another day. But I actually think he probably wants really good ground to be at his best and a trip. And so I'm going to stick him with the Scottish National or something like that. Okay, exactly. Just lacks a bit of pace, possibly, to be a Gold Cup horse could be a good stay and also horse train for a national or something like that. This is a good sign for Stage Star. Oh uh, yeah, yeah it is. And the way Ginny ran I was delighted. So I mean Stage Star seems to be very well and the hitman is very well too. You know, he's a big price considering he beat Protector Cat the other day. And um he, he was hit the frame last year. Yes and he's in better shape this year but it's a tough race today. Okay. Well very best of luck yeah. for that. Many congratulations. Thank you Lydia. Thank you. Harry Cobden in the winners' enclosure at last with Mon Miral in the per temps after a couple of close ones you've got there. Congratulations. How was that on the way round? Oh, um, well, I was meant to be in the first eight, and I think I was probably in the first 20 <laughs> <laughs> at one stage. But um, I just wanted to keep him on the ridle for as long as possible, keep everything as easy as possible, because, you know, he has been rather disappointing of late, and I actually probably went to ride him to run well. I thought we went very fast early, and we just steadied it up after a few, and he was in a good rhythm, jumped very well and um, you know, really stayed on at the hill. I think the blinkers made a massive difference. Yeah, Freddie Gingell recommended those, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I've had to give him a pat on the back <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, he deserves it, hasn't he? But this horse, do you think he's just a herder? That's what Paul Nichols said. He's been trying to make him into a chaser and actually this is a herder. He's not, he's not the biggest in the world, I must admit. And, um, you know, I, to be honest, the last sort of 18 months, I haven't been sure what trip to run him over, whether he wants two and a half or three miles, because every time he's run over two and a half, he hasn't looked like he's got it. But um, I just think the blinkers have made that sort of... He's, there's just no doubt, you know, he's just going forward now, whereas before you sort of, it got difficult for him. He'd nearly half stick his head in the air, but they've done a great job with him at home. He's not the easiest to train. He's got a few niggly problems, and um, 
fair play to everyone at home. Well, it is a great team effort. Fingers crossed now for Stage Star. Best of luck. Thanks very much. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.